Hello, world folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. For Terry's book, Spare, has shattered records and become the target of countless jokes. Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, was released January 10th, 2023, and has shed light on the life lived within the royal family. The book, ghostwritten by the novelist J.R. Moringer, earned the royal advance of at least $20 million, according to reports. While the book has been lightly accepted and has also garnered its fair share of criticism and mockery, the world's most famous comedians have taken aim at the couple after the publication of the book. Comedian Michael Shea mocked Meghan Markle in the recent SNL sketch joking that she's being so offended at $19 an hour to attend the coronation, with a picture of her as a maid depicted in the maid's outfit shown on the screen behind him. A Reddit user also shared the clip and said, Y'all, Hollywood is laughing at him. Comedian Chris Rock has lampooned the Duchess and her husband in his recent Netflix special. He joked about Meghan's claims that an unknown royal had concerns about how dark their son Archie might be when he was born. Rock said, In law... He added, that's not racist, because even black people want to know how brown the baby is going to be. Trevor Noah made a joke about Prince Harry's frostbitten penis while hosting the Grammy Awards. And even James Corden, who welcomed Harry on his show and went to his wedding, has joked about revelations from the royal autobiography. A former friend of Meghan Markle has told The Express, she and Harry have now become low-hanging fruit for Hollywood comedians. Edie, who met Meghan Markle when he asked her to co-host the Global Gift-Giving Gala in 2013, said... I don't think they would have thought that people like Trevor Noah, for instance, would joke about them at the Grammys, and that'd be humiliating. Nick went on to say, humor's always about the zeitgeist of what's going on. It's what's happening now. So it's sort of low-hanging fruit. He had that Megan Harry's behavior was going to start to grate on people. Nick said, I do think that with the documentary and the podcast and the book, it's become, as a lot of people say, a pity party. When you really look at it and actually look into their world, it's difficult when we see what's going on with the world with a huge economic crisis, wars, to sympathize anymore. The first interview with Oprah really did open up people's eyes a lot. I think it was really significant. But they keep saying, here's my life, it's terrible, we're going to educate you guys. To be honest, I think that's when it's going to start the grade on people. The publication of Prince Harry's memoir has sparked mixed reactions from the public. While some believe it was a brave move to speak out about his life, others feel it's simply an attempt to gain sympathy and attention. And regardless of opinions, the couple's public persona and openness about their lives have made them target of comedians and social media trolls. So what do you guys think about this news? How do you think the release of Prince Harry's memoir has impacted public perception of the royal family? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.